Hello guys, welcome back. This is Lamin Sani of LS Web Apps. And in today's video, we're going to have a look at nested arrays or multi-dimensional arrays. They're both the same, okay? So up until now, we've just been dealing with these arrays with just um, simple stuff like key value pairs or just numbered arrays. In this case, we are going to have an array inside an array. So yes, there you heard it, an array inside an array. So I'll just clear all of this out. So we'll just start fresh. Having one variable we'll call multi-array. And just keep it short, let's leave the dimensional out. And we'll have our square bracket and opening and closing array, okay? So now, a multi-dimensional array can be an array of um, numbered array or an associative array. And what do I mean by that? So let's just say multi um, number array. So the first one will be another array in here. So we'll have one, two, and three. And the second one will be another array and we'll have four, five, and let's say seven. So this is a numbered array. And let me show you what I mean by that. So let's just say um, echo, for example, multi number array. Okay, and we say zero. Okay, so what's going to um, happen there is um, that we're going to get this um, first array here. So the second array, we're going to access it by set. Well, actually, you can't do an echo. You can't, but it's counterintuitive. Let's just stick with here. I'll um, access the element in a second. So when you say one now, in this um, numbered array, the one item is this array here. Okay, so this is a nested array or a multidimensional array, but is using the um, numbered array notation. So the other kind of multidimensional array you can create is the associative array, which is a multidimensional. So we'll just say multi um, a associative. So I'll just say asoc um, array equal to. So I'll do this. So we'll say first, if you remember from the previous video. So now we have an um, associative array, but the value in this case will be another array. So we have one, two, three, and then we have second. And also the value will be another array. So let's say four, four, and nine. Okay. So in this case, you want to access um, those elements. You have to say multi asoc array and um, you can say the keys just in this case let's say second so this key um as multi asic array second will give you this array over here four four and nine okay so now you may be wondering okay i can access these arrays um as a whole but how do i access individual elements here this number two and number three okay very good question so now let's say we want to echo this number two here how do we access it we can access it by saying you have to go level by level. So this is zeroed element, this whole array, and this is the want element. And what do I mean by that? This is um, if you want to access, you have to use zero. In this one, you have to use one. So we have done that here. But now we have to go one level inside. Now that we have access to um, sorry, this want element here, how do we have access to the individual elements? We have to um, start counting again. So now we are at level one, which is this. Let's reset and go back to zero. So this will be um, one, sorry, zero. This will be one and this will be two. So now to access this second one here, we have to say uh, one. So that will go one level down. So let's just comment this second one out. We'll get to that in a second. And I'll save this script, go back in my browser, refresh. And we have an error on line 13. Let's see what that is echo multi number array say unexpected echo um, let's see what that is okay apparently I missed a semicolon here okay so it was explaining semicolon before the echo so I'll refresh and as you can see we have the five there so let's try to access this number seven and it's very simple all we need to do is change this one to two go back in my browser refresh and as you can see we have the seven Okay, so if you've been following, you probably right now must have guessed if we want to do the same for the associative um, nest multidimensional array, we just need to do echo, access the first key at the first level, which is this, and then we can start counting um, numeric wise 0, 1, and 2. In this case, let's try to access the, um, the number 1 here. 
we have to say second and then we start another square bracket couple of them and then we say zero now when we go back in our browser i refresh which will have the number four and that's this number um four here sorry i said number one but it's actually number four because we are accessing the second element so if we want access to this number two here all we have to do is change this second to first so we have to say first and then we just change this zero um actually this is very interesting i made a mistake of typing the um number zero here in strings but then php typecasted it automatically um by converting it to the number zero because it did some checking and noticed that there is no associative string of zero here so it just assumed that i meant um zero well this is not good practice but um just know that that's what php does okay so now if i echo this out we should go first and then the um, zero element okay so back in my browser i refresh and we have the number one here okay so that's it guys for uh, multi-dimensional arrays this is very useful in php and um thanks for watching i will see you soon cheers bye bye